There are many surgical options for your ACL injury. Now let's go over some of the more common. If you've been watching our videos on the ACL, you've seen that there's a lot to learn about how it works and how we fix it. You've learned all about the different choices for ACL grafts, the different considerations about the timing of surgery, and what you can expect afterwards. In this video, we're gonna discuss an important topic that you may have come across, surgical technique. We're sure you've scavenged the internet reading all about the different types of ACL surgeries with different doctors telling you that their version is the best. It can get confusing. Let's start by letting you know that when a doctor tells you that their way is the best, they aren't lying to you, they're being honest. But wait a second, how can this be true? Well, what it boils down to is that your doctor is telling you that they are gonna use the technique that works best in their hands. Over the years, doctors have come up with several different techniques to reconstruct an ACL. And in the end, they all give you a great chance of getting back on the field. This doesn't mean that there aren't certain circumstances where technique is important. One example of this is with young athletes, where there may be open growth plates to consider. There are several ways of performing ACL surgery in kids that try to minimize the potential for disturbing a growth plate when it's still open. You can learn more by checking out our video on ACL surgery in kids, and you can even check out an actual surgical video by clicking here. Now that we've cleared that up, let's talk about some of the terminology you may have heard and what it means. Arthroscopic or arthroscopic assisted. In the past, when doctors performed ACL reconstruction surgeries, they didn't have the technologies they do today. So in order to get access to the knee joint, they had to use large open incisions. Today, almost all ACL reconstructions are performed arthroscopically with a few small incisions and using a small camera and special instruments to do all the work. Autograft versus allograft. The decision to use allograft or autograft tissue for your graft is an important one, and there are many factors to consider. As a result, we've got a whole video dedicated to this topic and answering the questions that you may have. Check it out here. Transtibial, anteromedial portal, two incision, outside in. These are all terms that doctors use to describe their surgical technique for creating the tunnel or path for your new ACL. While there are subtle differences between them, the goal is similar, to reliably place your ACL graft in the right place, and each technique has excellent results with an experienced surgeon. Single bundle versus double bundle. As we've discussed in our video about the anatomy of the ACL, you've seen that it's made up of two bundles that play slightly different roles throughout the knee's range of motion. As a result, Doctors have developed a technique to replace the two bundles separately to reconstruct the ACL, as opposed to the more common single bundle approach. Several years of research have gone into trying to figure out if there is an advantage to one method versus the other, and the clinical results have been found to be nearly the same, with both methods having excellent results. Now it's important to note that the double bundle technique is more technically demanding and time consuming in the operating room, so it's important that your surgeon has plenty of experience with this technique if they're going to use it. As you can see, the truth is, when it comes to ACL reconstruction, there is no one best option. Find a doctor that you trust, talk with them, and ask questions. By doing this, you will develop a plan that is truly the best for you. We hope you've discovered some good information. Keep coming back to Ready, Set, Med for all your medical needs.